We got our hands on some newly revealed details on the initial gameplay experience from Todd Howard himself at Gamescom, a breakdown of the new official trailer for Starfield, new info on planetary exploration, leaks on Twitter, Nvidia's preparation for the launch of Starfield, and some insight on the initial experience of some of the reviewers, all this and more. If you're new to this channel, do me a favor and leave a like and subscribe. Without any further ado, let's get started. Todd Howard made his first experience at Gamescom opening night live for Starfield. He was asked a few questions that revealed some details about the start of the game. He was asked, why did you want to create a new world? He then responded with the fact that a lot of gamers out there dream of a game where you can blast off into the sky and explore space. They wanted to create a game where you can explore with complete freedom in the galaxy. He phrased Starfield as the dream game. I concur with this statement. For those that know me, I started this channel creating content for Star Citizen. And the reason why I like Star Citizen is the idea of being able to get up and go anywhere and do what you want when you want. He's absolutely right that people want this type of game. He was then asked, what did you bring to Gamescom? He responds and says they built a 300 person theater that shows the beginning of the game. You start off as a miner and you touch this artifact that affects you in some way, where you see a bit into time space. You get to create your own character to who you want to be, then you're off on an adventure. You can see this in the gameplay reveal where your character starts by touching the artifact, then given a vision, then wakes up to his colleagues where you have the opportunity to create your own character. The next question was, where does this adventure start? He responds with, you join a constellation which is the last group of space explorers. The story goes a lot of places with a lot of surprises they haven't mentioned. I'm curious to see what surprises he's referring to. Are there gameplay mechanics they haven't revealed yet? Starfield released its official trailer for the launch of the game. The trailer starts with a reveal of New Atlantis and this little girl who appears to be fascinated with space exploration runs up to the barrier of a landing pad of the spaceport where the frontier sits. A member of the constellation sees her and hands her a patch of the constellation badge. The constellation member then leaves with the frontier. It then leads us into space where the frontier jumps to an asteroid field of the rings of a ringed red planet. The constellation member is fascinated with the beauty of the new planet he just discovered and proceeds to fly through the asteroid field into the planet to explore further. He runs into some outlaws showcasing some of the combat we've seen before then manages to take out the pirate ship and head towards the red planet. On the planet, you can see the explorer walks the terrain with Vasco. You can even see this planet has fauna. You can see that he approaches the site where the sand is appears to be moving on its own. This sand is reminiscent of the rocks from the artifact shown in previous reveals. It appears that he has stumbled upon an area where the mysterious technology resides. It then takes us to a cave where the explorer and Vasco proceeds to explore, then runs into a place with floating luminescent rocks. His watch detects some sort of energy it does not understand, does flashing red. He touched the object and appears to teleport him somewhere. It either teleports him physically to somewhere to change him and return him back or puts him in some sort of trance state where he's given a vision of traveling where he is changed in some way. The way I know this is when he returns back to New Atlantis, he is more confident with what he's seen or discovered. On Twitter, Jeff Threat asked Bethesda, when I land on a planet, will I be able to explore the whole entire planet? P. Hines responds, yup, if you want to, walk on, brave explorer. From my understanding previously, I was under the impression that when you select a spot on a planet, the game only renders that spot for you to explore. If you want to see another section of the planet, you'll have to leave with your ship and select another spot. From what P. Hines says, you can continue to walk all around the planet without having to use your ship to get to another side of the planet. This is pretty cool. Darius Fears tweets, Info seen with my own eyes. Character creation is insane. The best I've seen in any Bethesda game. For my black brothers, they've got black people cuts. That's awesome. No bugs and glitches. They took their time with this game. The graphics look great. The acting and face gestures are much more improved from the first gameplay we've seen. The gunplay and enemy reactions are great. The ship battles and explorations look great. For the people who think the game starts off slow based on the leaks, 
we ain't got nothing to worry about. It's not as long as you think. If all this is true, it sounds like the game is doing well. Also, someone managed to get a copy of Starfield and posted it on the internet. I noticed a lot of these kinds of posts on Twitter. If you're not interested in spoilers, I suggest you limit your use on Twitter because it's all over the app. I think it will ruin your initial experience of the game. People have even mentioned in the comments of those videos that they regret looking at that video. We waited long enough for this so don't let someone ruin the first experience for you. Also in other news, Nvidia released a new driver in preparation for Starfield. So make sure you update your graphics card softwares. My time to shine hello on Twitter says he's heard that Starfield not only delivered but blew up expectations with gameplay very few bugs and great graphics. This will be my first Bethesda game and what I've heard about the previous games is that they are initially buggy on launch. So to hear that Starfield is less buggy is great news. This explains why they pushed the launch date from last year till now. Just so they can clean up the bugs. Starfield fans on Reddit noticed the lighting difference between this screen from 2022 and the 2023 Gamescom presentation. I'll let you watch it all the way through before I give my own commentary. I personally noticed a massive difference between the two. The ambient light is perfect, allowing us to see the details of the characters and their suits as well as the depths of the cave. A minor change but a big difference. I haven't mentioned this before, but I love the way the faces light up in the helmets. It makes such a difference for the visuals of the game. Let me know what you think of this in the comments down below. And last but not least, a new wallpaper has been revealed from Gamescon. You can find the link to this in the description down below. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe for more Starfield content. I will see you on the next video.